So, the Suns, second game back with KD, second games back, uh, yeah, KD knocks down the three-pointer and he was off to a much better start than in his return as he got going really early here and of course the Nuggets were depleted without Jokic, without Jamal Murray, without Michael Porter Jr. They don't have the number one seed locked up but it, they are pretty close to it and of course they are just preventing injuries before the playoffs and KD like I said was going off early and the Suns were off to a great start as you would expect against this depleted Nuggets team as they of course need these wins to lock down that fourth seed and having home court for the first round as you know that's of course important, but to be fair to the Nuggets, man, they did show up in the second half and this second half overall was really ugly by the Suns. Some tough shots, some bad turnovers and overall just weird fourth quarter and Aaron Gordon made it a five-point game here and it was really close down the stretch, but in the end, Devin Booker here comes up really clutch with this really tough layup and gives them a six-point lead here and... Uh, four point game still with 40 seconds to go KD passes to a wide open Okoji who knocks it down and he's gonna have to knock it down every damn night and he was spectacular on the glass again tonight he had some huge offensive rebounds and uh, he's gonna need to do that he had 14 and 5 two offensive rebounds both of them were really important 5 of 8 overall hit 4 of his 5 3 pointers which is of course if he can do that for a playoff series it would be special uh, KD had 30 points 11 of 15 Looked much better, wasn't spectacular overall performance, but of course it's great to see him be efficient. While D-Book and DeAndre Ayton looked solid, D-Book looked really good, and Ayton looked good overall, but still some foul trouble and just not aggressive enough with Kevin Durant back in. And Chris Paul looked overall solid, but had some weird turnovers some uncharacteristic turnovers and of course the shots just not been there man and he's gonna have to knock knock shit down when the time comes and the bench was horrific tonight the bench has been playing really well overall for the suns lately but tonight they just didn't have it and i don't know man they are on a four game winning streak but i i feel worse about them than i felt before kd came back somewhat i don't know man i, I just just don't feel right about these Suns, but maybe with these five games or so they still have left, uh, they can get more mojo together and c can look better, but I just don't trust Aiton and CP3 at this point, and I trust KD, the book, of course, and everyone else is a question mark to me, and more of a you know negative question mark than a positive, except for Josh Ok Okogi, I really like him, but... Uh, yeah, it's weird with the Suns. What do you think about the Suns, man? Do you trust them? Do you think they can win the West? Or are they going to be just, you know, early exit because of all the injuries? Or because do you feel you feel the same way I like I do, that they just don't have enough depth overall and Aiton and Chris Paul are just not trustworthy enough? Uh, let me know. I'm genuinely intrigued how everyone feels about Phoenix because I'm, I'm really slightly confused about them, but I mostly feel down on them. But we'll talk about it more when we do some playoff preview. Uh, well, for the Nuggets, there's not much more to say here, right? They were without their three best players and they still put up a good fight. So shout out to them for putting up a fight. But in the grand scheme of, thing, grand scheme of things, it really is nothing uh nothing to more nothing to really talk about here for them